So I uh, went and saw the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's good. Uh, it's it is good. Uh, but this is definitely a kids movie, which duh, no duh. But this is how they should have done the Mario movies from the get go. This movie looks like Mario. It sounds like Mario. They had all these cool little things with the music, like references, and there's just so much Mario. If you love Mario, there's uh, they reference every game. This is a very fun. Uh, movie. It's very fast. Uh, there's just stuff goes bam, 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 bam. Plot point, plot point, plot point, plot point, plot point. Over and over. Uh, Jack Black really good as uh, Bowser. He uh, has a couple Jack Black moments. They utilize his singing voice a lot, and he's hilarious. Um, Chris Pratt does a good job as Mario. I mean, it doesn't really. They had Charles Martinet in the cast. Like he, I think he plays Mario's dad or uncle or something. And they could have just used him because he's perfect. But I get it. You got to get... And I like Chris Pratt. And he didn't do a bad job. Charlie Day was good as Luigi. Uh, yeah, so um, go see it. Uh, Seth Rogen, Donkey Kong, it's okay. He just plays Seth, just plays Seth Rogen. But if you love Seth Rogen, then you're not upset about that at all. The animation's top-notch. Illumination does it. The people behind the minions and stuff like that. So they know what they're doing. And they bring Mushroom Kingdom to life in a very good way. Stick around till after the credits to get a little uh, Easter egg and set up for the next movie, which there will definitely be another movie. This was a packed house when I went and saw it. Uh, and that's a small-town theater, so usually they don't pack the house. The last movie I saw there that was packed was Avengers Endgame. And as you know, it's like the second-highest grossing movie of all time or whatever so do i think mario is going to be the second highest grossing movie no but do i think it's going to make a killing yes this is going to set up a bunch of new nintendo movies which is good uh, nintendo it's just they're they're ripe for it like they're all their movies are like friendly in that way like a legend of zelda movie would be so awesome if they do it right but yeah go see mario um seven and a half out of ten like i said it's not perfect it's way too off the wall for me uh and some of the jokes don't really land but Lots of 80s nostalgia in there, which, you know, Mario. And, uh, yeah, I would definitely check it out. Look, look in the background for tons of Easter eggs, too. Just so many Easter eggs.